just before my my talk, I, I just want to, to say some words about uh, avionics and simulation products in Airbus. Uh, uh, we, avionics and simulation products is a domain inside Airbus uh, which develop equipment for Airbus aircraft, not Boeing ones, only Airbus. Uh, we are working just like an, a supplier of Airbus, but we are using we Airbus use, uses us as experts for software development and uh, hardware development, and we develop most most of the time we develop flight by wire computers, flight warning system, maintenance equipment, and so on. So um, I have also another thing to say uh, before my talk. Uh, you have heard this, this morning that uh, Airbus has used a formal method to produce five million locks line of code with formal method. Uh, I would like to say that uh, except if we consider that producing code automatically from scale with a qualified tool is a formal method, this is not true that Airbus uh, used formal method to, to, uh, to produce five millions of lines of code with formal method. Okay, we have, we use scale, we use uh, uh, an automatic code generator which is qualified to develop. It's about six million lines of code now. So inside my domain, so except if it is used outside my domain, this is not uh, true what, is said, what was said this morning. So, uh, in my talk, I will uh, I will uh, give you some information on uh, the use of formal method inside our avionics and simulation products domain. Uh, this is the the real use of, of formal method inside Airbus. And after, I will talk about the integration of formal method guidance inside the 178C. So I will give you some details about the formal method supplements, which will be uh, included in the next, next issue of the 178. So, let's go. So, before, before uh, A380, uh, we have worked, we worked a lot on, uh, on formal method during a research project, and uh, the, the <coughs> For us, formal method has some advantages. So, formal method improves the understanding of computer specification, so we, we are more accurate, less ambiguous. And uh, the most important thing for us is that the proof verification of a program, conformity with respect to its specification, the proof is exhaustive, and therefore it is better than testing, because with the proof, we are able to verify that all the programs behavior meet the property and the property is, is, is proved for all possible inputs. So it's better than testing. So based on that, we decided to use formal method on A380. The first type of uh, formal method is the proof of generating generic properties. Um, the first type is the computation of worst case execution time. The next is the computation of stack, stack consumption. And at the beginning of uh, A380, uh, we, we thought that uh, we also could uh, use formal method for the precision of floating po point cal calculus, or also for the proof of absence of runtime errors. But uh, tools and industrial tools are not enough mat mature at this time to, to use that, but we still work on that and uh, we will s uh, all those things are still used on A3, A, A400M and A350 developments and I think that uh, we will certainly use proof of absence of runtime errors before the end of A350 on our project. The second type of uh, formal method used on A380 is the unit proof of functional properties instead of testing. I will go a little bit deeper on those aspects. So, let's begin by uh, the first type of formal method used. So for worst, worst case execution time computation, we, we use 
a tool which is called AIT, I think it's like that. This is a tool developed by Absent, a German company. This is based on abstract interpretation. It works on binary code and it, it uses a model of the CPU and the chipset around the CPU. The idea here is not only to, uh, to have a model of the CPU, but also all the hardware around the CPU to, be, to, have, to obtain a worst case execu execution time, which is really the real one, or above the real one, to have a safe worst case execution time. So this is used uh, on level A software. Level A is the most critical uh, class of software for uh, D178B. The less critical is E. The second one is a stack analyzer, also developed by Absinthe, also based on abstract interpretation. It also works on binary code. It is important to say that those tools uh, uh, are working on binary. Uh, our aim is to be clo the more close to the to what is executed in the real life of the on, in our aircraft. So that's why we are using those tools on the binary. It is not always possible, but we try to do that. So this tool is used for level A, B, and C software, and not only on A380, because we are using that on uh, also <coughs> former project during maintenance on uh, A340 A also. And next to come, we'll uh, use, we are using, so we still work on that, uh, a tool which is called Fluctuate for precision of a floating point calculus, which is developed by CEA. The French Nuclear Research Center. It is also based on abstract interpretation, and it works on on C. It's not always possible to work on on the binary. And the idea here is to uh, to obtain a safe computation of uh, numerical errors. Oop. The next is uh, we are working a lot of uh, uh, tools <coughs> and uh, industrial tools to prove the absence of runtime run errors. And here, I talk about Astre, but we are working also on other tools. Uh, Astre is developed by uh, Ecole Normale Supérieure de Paris with the team of, the prof of Professor Cuso. <laughs> it is based, obviously, on, a, sorry, on abstract interpretation. doesn't work. So, on abstract interpretation. It, is, it, it works on C code. And the idea here is to, to prove the absence of, of, of runtime error, like division, division by zero and other things. So those tools are the, in the first type of, uh, of formal method to, to prove the, the generic properties. The second one is the use of caveat <coughs> for the unit proof instead of testing. Caveat is developed by CEA, the French Nuclear Research Center. So Caveat is based on deductive method. They are improving. And uh, it works on C code, not on binary, but uh, we are doing what we can. We use that on the level A software. Uh, more precisely, we use this, uh, this tool and this method on the subset of the primary computer of the flight by wire system on the A380, A40, 400, and A350 also. Uh, the subset on which we are using caveat is uh, what we call the auto test, safety test software. This is a subset which is um, which runs during the the power on of the computer to to verify that the, to test if the hardware is correct and is functionally correct. So we are using caveat to prove during the unit proof to prove that this subset is compliant with the low level requirements. And uh, the aim here is to avoid to, to do unit testing. 